Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the 24-hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Traveling and want to learn a bit of the language? Then these survival phrases will help you survive the first 24 hours. Second, the ultimate listening video master course. Honest question, how good are your listening skills? Well, if you can watch this free master course, then you'll easily understand native speakers. So download it right now. Third, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Fourth, 20 strategies for learning language at home. Want to learn a language from the comfort of your home? This one minute lesson will give you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fifth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone that sees this video. You'll get free access to our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. First, you need to know what the word emergency means. The word emergency in Arabic is tawarik, tawarik. And in case of emergency, So you would need help in an emergency case. I need help in an emergency case. So let's get started. Call the police, please. The first phrase we have, من فضلك اتصل بالبوليس. من فضلك اتصل بالبوليس. Call the police, please. Uh, you can also say, من فضلك اتصل بالنقدة. نقدة, which is the colloquial way of saying the police. نقدة. Uh, so in Egypt, for police, you can call 122-1222. Or for the tourist police, if you're a foreigner, you can call 126. واحد اثنين ستة. عندك حرارة? Do you have a fever? عندك حرارة? عندك حرارة? Do you have a fever? You can also uh, hear عندك سخونية? عندك سخونية? Do you have a fever? Uh, usually the foreigners are not used to the heat in Egypt. It's very sunny. Uh, so they get a sunstroke. So don't forget to always apply a thick layer of sunscreen, a hat, sunglasses is a must. Always have a parasol with you because if you get a sunstroke, it's very difficult to, to recover. You're going to be sick for at least one week. So please take care of yourself and try not to have a fever. I cannot find my passport. The next one is I cannot find my passport. Uh, we use the word passport for a passport, and uh, if you really want the Arabic translation, it's gawaz safar gawaz safar gawaz means permit, and safar means to travel, so it's a travel permit. Uh, so you can say, مش لقي gawaz safar or gawaz safar doa. غالباً أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. I think I ate something bad. غالباً أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. غالباً أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. I think I ate something bad. That's when you're feeling like your stomach is upset, you're vomiting, or you have a fever, you have a stomach ache. You can say, أنا حاسس, I feel like, إني أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. أنا حاسس إني أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. I feel like I've eaten something bad. Uh, usually, uh, Egyptian food is full of fat, it's full of butter. So if you're not used to it, uh, maybe the first few days you will have a stomach ache or your stomach will be a little upset. So you can use this sentence to express that you have a problem to the pharmacy or to a doctor. حسني أكلت حاجة مش كويسة. أنا محتاج دكتور. I need a doctor. The next one is أنا محتاج دكتور. أنا محتاج دكتور. I need a doctor. Uh, you can also say أنا محتاج أروح المستشفى. محتاج أروح المستشفى. I need to go to the hospital. Or اطلب لي الإسعاف. اطلب لي الإسعاف. Can you call an ambulance for me? اطلب لي الإسعاف. If you're in Cairo and you need an ambulance, please call 123. واحد اثنين ثلاثة. 
أنا مش عارف طريق الرجوع للفندق. I cannot find the way back to my hotel. مش عارف طريق الرجوع للفندق. مش عارف طريق الرجوع للفندق. I cannot find my way back to the hotel. Uh, you can also say مش عارف أرجع للفندق. I cannot go back to the hotel. So if you need to stop someone to describe you the way, uh, you can say أنا قاعد في فندق شيراتون. I'm staying at the Sheraton Hotel, for example. وأنا مش لاقي طريق الرجوع للفندق. مش لاقي طريق الرجوع للفندق. Or مش عارف أرجع للفندق. I cannot find my way back to the hotel. So ممكن تساعدني. ممكن تساعدني. Can you help me? في صيدلية قريبة. Is there a pharmacy nearby? Uh, the next one is في صيدلية قريبة. في صيدلية قريبة. Is there a pharmacy nearby? For a foreigner, you're very lucky because if you have a stomachache or you have a headache or you feel like you're very sick, you don't really have to go to the doctor or like you don't really have to reserve an appointment in Egypt because usually in every pharmacy there is a doctor there. He can give you an injection. He can prescribe you uh, some medicine or if, if you feel bad, all you have to do is to go to the nearest pharmacy and just describe what you have or how you feel and they most likely are going to give you medicine. ممكن تساعدني؟ Can you help me? ممكن تساعدني؟ ممكن تساعدني؟ Can you help me? You can also say محتاج مساعدتك I need your help So if you're in a trouble and you can just ask some random person ممكن تساعدني؟ لو سمحت ممكن تساعدني؟ من فضلك اتصل بالمطافي Call the fire department please من فضلك اتصل بالمطافي من فضلك اتصل بالمطافي Call the fire department please من فضلك اتصل بالمطافي مطافي or اطلب المطافي اطلب المطافي if you need to call the firefighters in Egypt you should call 180 180 180 مش قادر اقف I can't stand up مش قادر اقف مش قادر اقف I cannot stand up if you feel like you're very physically sick you can just say مش قادر اقف or مش قادر اقوم I, I cannot get up I cannot move my body. مش قادرة أحرك جسمي. I cannot move my body. So these are all variations you can use. Like if you feel phys- physically tired. حاسس إن جسمي همدان. حاسس إن جسمي همدان. Uh, it means I feel like my body is very weak. حاسس إن جسمي همدان. Five most popular Egyptian bands. Do you know any of them? So let's get started. Karaoke. Karaoke. The first band is Karaoke. Karaoke. For example, you can say "Haroh haflit karaoke naharda," which means "I'm going to karaoke's concert today." Uh, karaoke uh, began their music profession long time ago, in like the 2000s or something. However, they were really, really popular during the Egyptian Revolution in 2011. Uh, they went down to the street and they sat in the settings and they uh, composed this beautiful uh, song. For كل شارع في بلادي صوت الحرية بينادي. In every street of my home, of my country, the sound uh, of freedom is calling. Freedom is calling us. And it was such a big hit in 2011, and that's when their uh, popular profession uh, as a band has started. Uh, they also have a very fun uh, song I personally like, and it goes something like, Habibi, I'm talaini, le daiman boos. Khalas nakit alaya snini. <laughs> so funny, but so sad. So yeah, uh, that's karaoke. They mostly sing political or uh, social problems related songs. Their lyrics are full of uh, statements, personal statements and uh, uh, criticism about the society and the uh, problems we're facing, whether it's economic or political or so on. So definitely go check them out. Sharmoufers. Charmoufers. The next band is Charmoufers. I have no idea what that means. Charmoufers. For example, you can say, بحب أغاني Charmoufers. I like Charmoufers songs. Uh, they mostly also sing social so, social problems. For example, they have uh, this song called خمسة سنتي, Five Centimeters. It begins with the uh, singer, the the lead singer. He's waking up and he cannot wash his face because the, there is no water, which is a very common problem in Egypt. Like the water gets cut. And then he goes downstairs to see that the sewers are kind of exploded and there is water every, everywhere. That's why the last 
uh, five centimeters of his pants get this really dirty water in them. And then he proceeds to go to his work. He walks in the street. Everything is so crowded. He's so late because there is an accident. And he gets out of his car and he starts walking to his work. But the streets are so muddy. They're so dirty. And the ends of his pants yet again get dirty. So it's kind of, it takes you through the daily life of, uh, of a very normal Egyptian person what kind of problems, daily problems he or she might face. So it's also a very good uh, band if you want to know uh, how Egypt uh, looks like, uh, what kind of problems they have, what kind of uh, funny or unique stuff they have. Definitely go check out their uh, album and their video music, uh, video, video shows. Masar Igberi. Masar Igberi. The next band is Masar Igberi, uh, which means obligatory detour or a compulsory detour. And they also make so many underground music. Masar Iqbari usually sing uh, also about social problems, but maybe more about individual problems, uh, sometimes with uh, depression and, um, yeah, the tough, like when life t gets tough, they can't, they don't really sing romance as much as they sing about their problems and, uh, yeah, the difficult parts of life and so on. Uh, they have a very nice uh, song called uh, Shermophobia, Shermophobia. I definitely recommend you to go watch that music video. For example, you can say, Semet Ognet Masar Iqbari Gijida. Have you listened to Masar Iqbari's new song? If you're interested in uh, blues, jazz, uh, some oriental music, uh, not necessarily Egyptian, but generally oriental, you might want to check out Masar Iqbari. Iskandarella. Iskandarella. Okay, the next one is Iskandarella. Iskandarella from Alexandria, the uh, Mediterranean, uh, one of the most famous Mediterranean cities uh, in Egypt. Uh, for example, you can say, Ferit Iskandarella had ghani al masrah. Ferit Iskandarella had ghani al masrah. Which means Iskandarella is gonna sing on stage. Iskandarella is a band made of three members and they take uh, really, really vintage music, especially the ones that are made by a composer called Said Darwish. So he used to live in the 19th century and he is one of the most popular Egyptian composer and the musician uh, of that time. Their ideology is that the young people nowadays are so out of touch with Egypt's old history and uh, the vintage music. So they try to recycle it, make it modern, and they try to remake it for the young people to be interested in it again. And then maybe they can reconnect the old history with the new uh, ways of and styles of music and so on. Uh, definitely try to check them out if you are into vintage music or music that kind of relates to poetry. If you like the sound of oriental vintage uh, instruments like the oud, uh, definitely try to see them. Uh, check out their music videos. Mishwar. Mishwar. The next band is Mishwar. Mishwar. Mishwar, which means a journey. For example, you can say, فرقت مشوار من أشهر فرق الأندرغراوند. فرقت مشوار من أشهر فرق الأندرغراوند. مشوار is one of the most popular underground bands. مشوار has a really unique theme of combining the oriental or Egyptian beats with the reggae or groove uh, African beats. So if you are into this African slash Middle Eastern or Arab uh, kind of music or uh, mix, uh, you should definitely try to watch one of their music videos or concert. Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the 24-hour survival phrases PDF cheat sheet. Traveling and want to learn a bit of the language? Then these survival phrases will help you survive the first 24 hours. Second, the ultimate listening video master course. Honest question, how good are your listening skills? Well, if you can watch this free master course, then you'll easily understand native speakers. So download it right now. Third, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Fourth, 20 strategies for learning language at home. Want to learn a language from the comfort of your home? This one-minute lesson will give you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fifth, 
free language learning audiobooks for anyone that sees this video. You'll get free access to our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Sports. So let's get started. Kuritil Kadam. Soccer. The first one is Kuritil Kadam. Kuritil Kadam. Or soccer. Or football. Uh, in Egypt, in the dialect, we usually just say Kura. Kura, which means a ball. But we usually refer to that to football or soccer. For example, you can say, "Riyatun mufaddala hiya kurat al qadam." Riyatun mufaddala hiya kurat al qadam, or "Riyatun mufaddala hiya kura," which means, "My favorite sport is soccer." My favorite sport is soccer. The two most famous Egyptian uh, soccer teams are Zamalek and Ahli. Ahli is usually in red, uh, presented in red, and Zamalek is usually presented in white. And they're always fighting, and um, there's so much tension and passion going around between these two uh, groups. If you ever go to Egypt and happen to buy a pocket tissue, you will almost always find it uh, with the symbol of either Ahli or Zamalek. So make sure to buy your favorite team's tissue. Kore te salla, basketball. The next one is Kore te salla, Kore te salla, basketball. For example, you can say. كنت بلعب كرة سلة وأنا صغير. كنت بلعب كرة سلة وأنا صغير. I used to play baseball when I was young. So for the Egyptian basketball teams, you can also find your own version of Ahli and Zamalek kind of teams. Uh, for but for basketball, not football. كرة اليد. Handball. The next one is كرة اليد. كرة اليد. Handball. Uh, for example, you can say فريق كرة اليد لي تصنيف عالمي. فريق كرة اليد لتصنيف عالمي. The handball team has a world ranking. In the last handball tournament in Egypt, a Zamalek team has won the first place, beating all of his other opponents. الكاراتي. Karate. The next one is Karate. Karate. For example, you can say الولاد لازم يتمرنوا Karate. الولاد لازم يتمرنوا Karate. The boys should practice Karate. Or you can say, الولاد لازم يلعبوا كاراتي. الولاد لازم يلعبوا كاراتي. The boys should play karate. Uh, usually in the Egyptian dialect, it's more familiar or it's so it's more natural to use the word يلعب uh, instead of the word يتمرن, which means practice. The word يلعب means play, but usually it's more natural when you use sports. For example, you can say, بحب ألعب كرة. بحب ألعب كرة. I like to play soccer. Or بحب ألعب كرة اليد. I like to play handball. Uh, more than saying I like to practice. The Egyptian karate team is usually on top of the regional African karate tournament. However, in 2017, it was beaten by the Tunisian team, and the Tunisian came on top. But right after it, there's always the Egyptian team of for karate. السباحة. Swimming. The next sports is my personal favorite sports is Sibeha. Sibeha. Swimming. For example, you can say Tamrin is Sibeha Sasaba. Tamrin is Sibeha is Sasaba. The swimming class is at 7 o'clock. Yeah, Egypt, Egypt has two seas, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. So everyone who lives along these seas usually is a, good, a very, very good swimmer. Egyptian people go by the Islamic saying that is uh, to teach their children swimming or horse, horse riding, swimming or horse riding or archery. And since horse riding and archery are kind of difficult to achieve or maintain in the Egyptian society, therefore most of the children uh, go to swimming schools or know how to swim, uh, go to the beach every year and so on. Since it's also very, very hot, so it's always nice to go to the beach and cool down a little bit. So most likely, almost all of the young people will be taking lesson classes or at least know how to swim. Five biggest festivals in Egypt. So let's get started. 
مهرجان القاهرة السينمائي الدولي كايرو انترناشنال فيلم فيستيفال The first one is مهرجان القاهرة السينمائي الدولي مهرجان القاهرة السينمائي الدولي كايرو انترناشنال فيلم فيستيفال For example you can say مهرجان القاهرة السينمائي الدولي حدث فني مهم جدا The Cairo International Film Festival is a major art event. Uh, the Cairo Fil- Film Festival is a tiny is a tiny local Egyptian event that is so much like Cannes or the mini Oscars. And there you can see films, short films from all over the world. If you're interested in uh, foreign culture, there's uh, weekly projects and weekly events, so you can definitely have more time discovering. the cultures around the Middle East and the foreign cultures as well in that event. Uh, yeah, and meet so many celebrities, Arab and Egyptian celebrities alongside with foreign ones. Cairo Bites. Cairo Bites. The next one is Cairo Bites. Cairo Bites. Uh, for example, you can say, I can like tear away from Cairo Bites. I can like tear away from Cairo Bites. We ate a lot in Cairo Bites. Uh, Cairo Bites is the biggest food festival in Egypt ever, and there you can find not just local food, but you can also find foreign food, and they're all lined up so nicely, and you can eat so many stuff from so many different places. You can also find food-related business and establishments there if you're interested not only in eating, but also in uh, starting up your own uh, business uh, in the industry. You can definitely go there and check it out. مهرجان الموسيقى العربية Arab Music Festival The next one is مهرجان الموسيقى العربية مهرجان الموسيقى العربية Arab Music Festival For example, you can say أشهر المطربين بيغنوا في مهرجان الموسيقى العربية أشهر المطربين بيغنوا في مهرجان الموسيقى العربية The most famous singers perform at the Arab Music Festival مهرجان الموسيقى العربية or the Arab Music Festival Egypt usually hosts some uh, Arab countries. Uh, the Arab Music Festival is usually held in November every year. For example, in November 2017, Egypt has hosted eight Arab countries, performers and musicians to come and play and perform in the Opera House in Cairo. And usually this festival lasts for two weeks. Every day you can see a different performance or a different event. Marad Kitab. Cairo International Book Fair. Uh, the next one is Marad al-Kitab. Marad al-Kitab. Cairo International Book Fair. Uh, for example, you can say, Hanroh in Harda Marad al-Kitab. Hanroh in Harda Marad al-Kitab. Today we are going to the Cairo International Book Fair. I really like Cairo International Book Fair, Marad al-Kitab. Uh, usually it's open annually uh, during the period of uh, January or February, like around this time. And usually all publications, all new publications, new authors, if they have a new book uh, coming up, it's always published and it's put in that fair. And there you can meet your favorite authors or your favorite uh, writers and you can get their sign. You can even take a picture or have lunch with them. It's a very nice uh, environment to meet up with people you look up to or you have uh, people you have read their books before. A couple of years ago, there was a metro station made right in front of the entrance for the Cairo International Book Fair. So each year, instead of taking transportation or fi- like not finding your way to the International Book Fair, it's now so easy to go into the metro, the subway, take the subway and go out and you will find the entrance right in front of you. So even if it was difficult before, now it's not difficult. It's so easy to go there now. So please try to go there in January or February next year. معرض زهور الأرمون أرمان فلاور فيستيفال معرض زهور الأرمون معرض زهور الأرمون أرمان فلاور فيستيفال For example you can say اشتريت زرع كتير من معرض زهور الأرمون I bought lots of plants from the Orman Flower Festival uh, The Orman Flower Festival is in Giza city and usually it's open from the 10th around the very very early March because that's when spring starts in Egypt And there you can find not only flowers, you cannot only just buy plants, but you can also buy seeds if you want to uh, plant something for yourself. Uh, there are so many bands and groups, art teams uh, who sell art and sell um, artistic 
handmade things it's more like a free market so you can buy things that are handmade uh, wh whether that be an art uh, piece or uh, food uh, for example honey or um, spice honey or spice you can also listen to so many bands so many bands go there to perform and you can find foreign flowers as well uh, some that are, don't really grow in Egypt so definitely if you have a chance to go to Egypt in the spring try to go to the Orman Flower Festival Great work! Here's a reward! Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free Just click the link in the description